When working with 2D layouts in SolidWorks Electrical, you may have noticed that the software automatically will add wipeouts based on the extents of the footprint that you're working on. In many cases, if a rectangular device is in place, this is great, saves us a lot of time, but a few devices are not perfectly rectangular, and what SolidWorks Electrical allows us to do is add a specific wipeout frame. So go to your symbol and begin editing by going to the Draw tab and choosing the Wipeout feature. I recommend turning on an object endpoint snap or any other object snaps to aid in setting up our wipeout frame. So we'll begin and trace around this particular object to power supply, trying to match this outer curve. And when finished, we can make a few other changes. I like changing the outer boundary to yellow so it stands out. And I also ensure that the wipeout is placed in the background so that I can still see the footprint of the device. With those changes made, we save it and go back to our drawing and update and make sure that it now is following the curve properly. Try this next time you're working with any non-rectangular footprint in SolidWorks Electrical to get an accurate project layout.